before we get this video started today, I just wanted to let you know we do have 10 pound bag options now available for my Ryan Norlon Cares Elite Seed. Uh, many of you asked for some smaller size bags, so we just got that finished. Go ahead and check that out on the website. I'll have a link to that down in the description and probably in the pinned comment as well. But we do have some different sizes for you now and bluegrass is back in stock. How about the pros of Kentucky bluegrass? Kentucky bluegrass has a soft texture. It forms a very dense sod because it's a spreading grass. If you're looking for something that's going to spread over time, fill in maybe a few different spots, then Kentucky bluegrass is what a lot of people go for because of those characteristics. Kentucky bluegrass has great color. I've been testing many different varieties of it over the years, and it's not quite as dark as the ryegrass that I have, but it's still gonna look great, and many people are used to the look of Kentucky bluegrass and really prefer it. If you are looking for that great looking grass, has a nice soft texture to it as well, Kentucky bluegrass is one of those. Kentucky bluegrass is drought tolerant. Now I would say out of the grasses that I've tested over the years, it's the one that wants to go dormant the fastest in most scenarios, which means it will start to get dry and will start to turn a brownish color in the summer faster than especially a tall fescue. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. This is a natural thing that happens to cool season grasses to protect themselves from the summer heat. And what Kentucky bluegrass is very good at is withstanding that heat and that stress of summer and then coming back in the fall as if it never really happened to begin with. As long as you keep a small amount of water on it every two to three weeks or so, you're going to be really fine with it even though it looks brown in the summer. And I have lots of Kentucky bluegrass in my neighborhood. These yards have never, ever been watered whatsoever through our droughts, through all of the different summer stresses that we've gone through. They always seem to come back in the fall and turn green again. So it's a one characteristic of bluegrass that it does very well. Kentucky bluegrass stripes well. You'll see a lot of Major League Baseball fields that use Kentucky bluegrass have amazing outfields with beautiful stripes. So another grass that stripes really well. These new elite varieties of Kentucky bluegrass were really developed so that they could tolerate a pretty low height of cut to about a medium height of cut. I'm looking at somewhere around a half inch at the lowest to I really love bluegrass at about two inches height of cut. That's what I'm doing out on these test plots right now that I have been for the whole season. What I experienced in the past was that especially if you have those varieties that love to be cut lower, and you're trying to push them higher, the texture of that doesn't end up looking that great and it starts to get some fungus issues. So if you are wanting some of these really high-end bluegrasses, I would recommend that you cut them slightly lower. They're gonna do better. That's really what they were designed for. Some of the cons of Kentucky bluegrass, I would say, as we talked about, what it does well is that it likes to go dormant fast, but for those of you who want to keep it green during the whole year, you're gonna have to have some irrigation on it to make that happen. So for those of you who don't love to water and you wanna keep a green yard as much as possible, it's probably not your best option. Kentucky bluegrass can get sort of thatchy over the years because this is not a bunch type grass like ryegrass or tall fescue because it actually spreads with rhizomes under the ground and continues to form a super dense sod there is some maintenance there over the years. Kentucky bluegrass takes a lot of patience, and I will say that without hesitation. If you're someone that wants to put the seed down, you wanna see a really full looking lawn in about um, three, four weeks or so, not going to be the grass for you. It takes usually about a full year, I would say, to get a really mature looking bluegrass. If you're having trouble with patience, this might not be the grass type for you either. Typically, Kentucky bluegrass didn't do great in shade. There are some improved varieties now that are more shade tolerant, but if you have a really dense shade area, I would probably steer you away from doing a Kentucky bluegrass lawn under that. It's just not really what it was designed for. It does really well in full sun. Also, Kentucky bluegrass can be more heavy on fertilizer needs. I think to look its best, a lot of times it's going to need a bit more than some of the other grass types. If you're someone who doesn't mind doing that and you like to be out there working on it and fertilizing a few more times a year, not really a huge issue. What my main goal has been has been to provide this information to you, but also provide you with elite seed so that you don't need to go searching high and low for which ones of these cultivars are going to look good, have drought tolerance, fungus tolerance, all those things. I've compiled those in my elite brand seed here so that all of that is done for you. And I really appreciate all your support over the last couple seasons since I launched this grass seed. We have all of the types that you need, ryegrass, bluegrass, tall fescue, and the shade blend as well. So go ahead and check that out if you would. I really appreciate your support on the grass seed. We've had so many happy customers with it and I would love for you to be one of those as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.